Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Wuthering Waves video. Good news, plenty of cool updates have kicking. So, uh, they released a patch notes for version 1.1 a couple of hours or a couple of minutes ago, but you can see it was officially on the x.com and then I was just glancing through it and it seems like plenty of things the devs listen, all right? That's all I can say. The devs actually listen. So let's talk about what is happening right here. For Wuthering Waves version 1.1, a very, very cool stuff. Now, Echo System, there'll be a new tuner synthesis feature, all right? To address the issue of lower grade tuners piling up in your backpack during the late game, we will be introducing the tuner synthesis feature in version 1.1 update. With this feature, you will be able to synthesize a certain number of medium or advanced tuners into the higher grade tuners. This is so good. I've been wanting this for the longest time ever. Man, and look at this, look at this. The ratio seems to be 5 to 1. The ratio seems to be, I don't know if you guys can tell that, but that's 10 out of 5. So that means if you have this purple trash in your inventory, I'm sure you guys know, right? Uh, the system basically, you need the yellow ones is only to... This one is to upgrade the 5 star tuners. This one is to upgrade the, the 4 star echoes, right? Nobody cares about the 4 star echoes. So now you can basically grab a bunch of this, convert it. So I have 1000 of this. That means following the, the ratio right here, which is, you know, 2 to 1, it seems like I will be able to get uh, up to 500 of these premium tuners. That's going to be insane. All right, big shout out to the devs for basically just this feature enough is alone to settle the tuner issues that we have early on. All right, so definitely a very, very good addition. Alongside with that, increase unit ESP reward for unlocking new echo entries. To the leveling experience and unlock the late game content earlier for all players, we have introduced unit ESP reward for unlocking new entries of echoes as of version 1.1. Additionally, we will retrospectively uh, reward the unit ESP for the number of echo entries you have unlocked during version 1.1 during the update. So basically, the more uh, echoes you unlock, the more ESP you will be able to obtain. The composition will be distributed via in-game mail. So if you have already unlocked fully, they will give you in, in your mailbox just to get some bonus rewards, right? Make sure to check your mail and claim the rewards in time. Now, this one is going to be pretty cool. Higher cost range for Echoes rewarded for activity points. So, we have heard your feedback about the high variability in the cost range of Echo rewarded by gaining uh, required activity points in Guidebook. To improve your experience, we have removed cost 1 Echoes from the activity points reward pool. Only cost 3 and cost 4 Echoes will be rewarded. As of version 1.1, once you accumulate up to 100 activity points, you're going to get a random echo of cost 3 or cost 4. Now, what is this guidebook? You guys are aware this is the dailies. All right, if you guys have been doing the dailies, you basically reach all the way to here. At level 100, you're going to get a random echo, right? And this echo, sometimes it can be a 1 star, sometimes it can be a... It's, it's random, right? But now... They're going to remove the variable that is going to guarantee either a 3 or a 4 star echo. I would rather it be a cost 3 echo because cost 4 is like way easier to farm. Those are the bosses, right? But cost 3 is going to be the, the big gating factor for most players. Uh, at least this is what I believe, right? So I do think that this is going to be the, the most important one. But everything else is a very, very good, very big addition, uh, I think, to the game. Alright, so this is going to make shit... This will make it so that your dailies is going to be much more like something that you can look forward to. Oh, let's try and grind, you know. It's going to help you a lot in the long run, right? Especially if you play this game like for more than a couple of months, every single day just logging in. You're going to get a number of cost 3, cost 4. Maybe one of it is going to match the, you know, the elemental damage and the set effect. Alright, that's going to be pretty cool. Data bank level cap race. This is pretty insane as well. After version 1.1, the level cap for data bank will be raised to level 21. After level 21, all echoes drop will be guaranteed 5 star. That is insane. That is insane. I have been struggling. Like, this is this is the thing that pisses me off, alright? Uh, you guys know by now what pisses me off. Uh, I was like streaming every day trying to grind these echoes. I don't understand why is this not a thing. I don't understand. Why is it that it's an 80-20? 80% chance to get 5 star, 20% chance to get 4 star, but it feels more like... It actually... Legit, it feels more like 60-40 for me. It actually feels more like 60-40. I feel like there's a very high chance for me to get 4 star. But now, no more stupid 4 star. Literally, all of them gone. Alright, just 5 star rarity going forward. 
uh, there will be a new data bank level 21 uh, this is going to be uh such a good update man this is like so good it makes more sense now like it it encourages players to actually grind all right so new fun in mountain firmament echo transformation all right get ready for some new fun in select areas you can now transform into echo clang bang to explore the area why is it called clang bang uh stay tuned for more creative echo puzzles and challenges in the future updates so it looks like a new event altogether you become this ice cube little thing uh okay so okay looks nice it looks nice not gonna lie all right other optimizations remove tested field reward collection animation okay cool i hate that animation man why is that like after you finish beating it it locks you for a few seconds you cannot move very annoying lower the shell credit cost for echo leveling all right simplify the cruise wing challenge we have slowed down the flying speed of the cruise wing extended the time limit to make the challenge more manageable pretty cool all right this is the one that you become the butterfly i mean not butterfly the dragonfly and you fly around the map pretty cool all right so events and other rewards new depths of elusive realm content dreams ablaze in uh darkness with race event rewards okay finally they are increasing the rewards in version 1.1 we will be introducing a new depths of elusive realm event called dreams ablaze in darkness along with new mechanics such as tokens symphony rank and different mimetic tuning available for you to create your own powerful build furthermore the total event will, rewards will be increased to 1000 as strikes so now you get more premium currency which is going to give you a higher chance to get your Jinshi or, or Changli, right? Whichever that you really want. New area exploration event, all right? So uh, to help better experience the new mountain firmament area, this is going to be a new area altogether. We have prepared two exclusive area uh, events for you. The area exploration event, Tales from Mountain Firmament, and the photo collection event. All right, complete these events up to 800 airstrikes, premium resonance potions, premium sealed tubes, and more. So this is the one that's uh, used to basically level up your echoes, right? Alongside with that, uh, increase convenient item, all right? Uh, exchange limit in the item oscillated coral star in 1.1 you may redeem up to seven of each of the following convenient items radiant tides forging tides lustrous tides in each installment of the store okay so uh this is pretty like i'm sure you guys are aware of this thing right if you go here you want to go to the shop you guys are aware that this oscillated coral this is the shop you can buy six of that pools right i've already bought mine and it's like it's no longer in the screen you can buy six standard pools six red up pools and six weapon pools so they are going to increase it to seven of each radiant tights forging tights and lustrous tights i think that's pretty good that's really really good so you get one more of each very very cool it is going to be per version so i think this is going to be be much more in line because it's not a monthly reset like in genshin or honkai star Rail. it's going to be per version so i still think it's overall a pretty good one because uh, i think version 1.1 is going to last for seven weeks around there i'm not sure so it's like i think it usually lasts around seven weeks right because one week has uh one month has four weeks so it's about one and a half month around there uh depend Usually about 40 to 45 days. All right, preview of the other special events. Besides the optimization and tweaks mentioned above, version 1.1 is also bringing a bunch of other cool events. Seven day login, gifts of celestial light, the featured commission event Lolo campaign, the featured combat event tactical simulacra, ooh, the leveling material double drop event, after sound abundance, echo double drop, echo double drop. Okay, this is an event that you must not miss. Wait, 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 that's going to be crazy, man. Is that... I, I'm guessing that's ex exclusively to test it feels. No way they're going to allow you to just farm unlimited echoes every single day, right? Because it has to be exclusive. It has to be tied to the test it feels, I'm pretty sure. All right, uh, stay tuned for our official uh, announcements. Okay, we'll wait for that. So as you can see, this is going to be the new mountain, a new area. We've added layered map feature to the area to help you better explore it okay layered map so that means you know which is the higher ground which is the lower ground there's three three layers it seems like very very cool all right new area quest progress after version 1.1 you will be able to track your progress on exploration quests for the current area via map exploration progress okay so this is very very cool alongside with that expanded detect detection range for loot mapper to make it easier for players to track and find undiscovered supply chests nearby the map we will expand the range of loot mapper so it's like a circle they will make it bigger i assume you can use and deploy the loot mapper through the utility wheel to search for nearby chest okay very very cool new resonator gallery you can check all resonators you have unlocked and their unlock time in gallery crossing stars new story dialogue feature in the gallery main story oh you can basically read 
if you skip, you can read back some of the story. Yo, that is pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Uh, such a insane feature uh, for players that love skipping story, right? Uh, and then you want to read it later. So level requirements lower for some main quest. To unlock late game content early for all players, we will lower the level requirements for some of the main quests after version 1.1. The level requirement to unlock main quest chapter 1 act 4 clashing blades will be lowered from union level 14 to 11 all right so this is going to be specifically for new players more number and type of guidebooks uh we have heard your feedback about limited ways to earn guidebook activity points oh this is going to be for the dailies wait what people actually complain about this i thought it was fine so now they're going to add more things for you to do will increase the variety and number of daily activity point tasks. Not more things for you to do, but more options for you to basically be able to do your dailies. We hope these changes make the quests more enjoyable for you. Kudos to them, and Kudos to the devs for that. New combat style tags. With version 1.1, we are introducing combat style tags uh, to categorize the combat mechanics with different resonators. We hope this will help you out better understand each resonator's core combat style. Okay. Very interesting. Wow, there's so many different vibration strength. What the heck is that? Vibration strength. Uh, okay. Okay, we'll see how that... New chat system. Okay. Uh, this is just for you to be able to read the chat. Uh, easier controller mode interaction optimizations. Add a new camera adjustment. Change the controller shortcut key. Enable key remapping for Sony PlayStation controllers. Making it consistent with the remapping options for Xbox controllers. Okay. All right. I was like, at first I was like, oh, they're going to add it to PlayStation. I guess not. It's just a controller for now. Okay, this is still overall very, very, very good stuff. All right. So I do think that version 1.1 is overall a good update to the game. Uh, hey, I think like what else could you ask for? As long as it's easier for you to farm your freaking uh, echoes. That's all that matters. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for me. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm curious to hear of your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys haven't already subscribed, give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.